Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Armok for All. Long time no see, but finally I'm back and today we're talking about HDR in Gears 5. Enjoy! Okay, so before I show you a little bit of gameplay material from the game, and as always I try not to spoiler too much, we have to talk about the HDR calibration menu on the Xbox Series X. And what I found is it is not supported. That means The game does not support the internal HDR calibration menu on the Xbox Series X. It doesn't matter at all what you set up because we have nice sliders and settings in the game. But I'd like to show you something else because after my last update or last update on the Xbox Series X and by the way there were so many lately I don't know every time when I'm turning on my Xbox there's a new update. Anyway, I have now two tick boxes for Dolby Vision. So the first one is a low Dolby Vision which is yeah, allowing Dolby Vision. And then I have a separate Dolby Vision for gaming. So if I'm just checking this box, then obviously there is no Dolby Vision for gaming possible. But I think this is really just for overall for video apps like Netflix, I haven't tried it so far. So that's how I understand it. But anyway, that's new. And at the moment we just unticking this because we start with HDR10. And again, what I found is this menu here, does not support this game, Gears 5. So it doesn't matter at all what you set up here. It will not affect anything in the game. But what I found is, unfortunately, as soon you start the game in HDR, HDR 10 or Dolby Vision, we will have a little bit of black level rays. Very minor because it is actually more than enough that you change the brightness settings from 50 to 49 as on my LG ZX and you have the perfect OLED black back. Okay, so there's another way to get rid of the raised black levels on the LG ZX and we can use fine-tuned dark areas for this. So keep in mind, fine-tuned dark areas is just working when you activate VRR on your Xbox and I will just quickly show you this. We go to settings, display options, video mode and we tick the box a low variable refresh rate. If this is not ticked, The um, fine-tuned dark area settings in the menu, they have no impact at all, okay? So make sure you tick this box. Anyway, it's anyway better to tick it. And still Dolby Vision is working with this setting as well, so no worries at all. And what I found is you can leave your brightness setting to 50 and you change this to minus 5. So on my TV it was minus 5 and I found I have perfect OLED black back. So there was no issue anymore with black level rays and I would actually yeah, recommend this method over the yeah, changing brightness or changing the overall brightness from 40 to 49, 50 to 49, I'm sorry. So I would recommend to change this fine tune dark areas to minus 5 and make sure VRR is enabled on the Xbox. Okay, so let's start talking about HDR and yeah, we're starting with HDR10 and HGHG and that's by the way my recommended mode. What I would yeah, recommend to you to play the game with because I found dynamic tone mapping is not doing a very good job in this game. Okay, but let's start with HDRG. So we have a very nice settings here or HDR calibration menu. We have contrast, brightness, HDR brightness. So I wouldn't touch contrast at all. The only thing what I maybe if you need a little bit more shadow, shadow details, go down to 40, but that's the maximum I would do. I wouldn't touch it at all, okay? If you leave, if you can, leave it at 50, okay? Brightness, that's a little bit tricky. So by the way, those are the standard settings. The other settings were my, were my calibrated settings. So brightness is 140 in the standard settings and I found with HGHG, that's a little bit too less, a little bit too less. So I would actually like to have this at 180, to be very honest, but The more we yeah, actually increase this, the more we're losing brightness here in very, very bright objects. Not brightness, details. Okay, details, what we're losing. Because we have now, I think we're talking about maybe 300 candles or whatever. So that means up to 800 or the TV is capable of, let's say, 700 candles. If we always already have um, overall brightness from 300, we probably have just 350, 400 candles left for highlights like this and that's why it's getting hard for the TV to display actually the nice details here because what I can show you and hopefully my camera can catch this 
Now when I'm decreasing the brightness to 100, which by the way is way too less, we have so many nice details and let me jump out. This looks really, really great. And by the way, I still measuring the highlights here with over 600 candela. Okay, so it is not less bright. It is just showing you more details. But the problem is now the overall brightness from the picture is just too less. It doesn't look nice anymore. Uh, this is uh, way too less now because actually this should be very, very bright. That's a big problem. Big problem what I don't like. So what I found is we're changing this to 160. So if you of course have a different TV with a yeah, bigger or a higher maximum peak brightness, play a little bit with this, maybe 160, 180, because then you get a overall a better picture in my opinion. But on the LG CX, unfortunately, 160 is the maximum, okay? So what I also found, HDR brightness is standard 800, but I haven't had any problem to increase this to 1000. I mean, you start losing some details, but very, very minor. And what you gain actually is a little bit more brightness. So after this, it was, it was uh, I think before it was 620. And after my tweak, I had 650, 660 candela here in this area, which is of course, better because we like to have stuff like that very very bright okay so now the picture looks like this and i really like it especially when we look at very bright objects now from these plants here where the sun is reflecting this now looks like a very nice sunny day so this is hghg hdr10 and now i like to show you where's my remote control why i would not recommend to play this game in dynamic tone mapping because you will lose, now we are wrong here, because you will lose a couple of details in very bright objects. And this is regardless of what settings I'm using here in the video options. Just give me a second. Let's change this back to standard. So we have this nice yeah, splashing water here. So even on this yeah, still picture right now, with HGHG I have nice details here it's a little bit blurry because you know we, we paused the game but very nice details here when we change this to dynamic tone mapping on and remember we are in the standard settings nothing changed then we're blowing up this whole area because dynamic tone mapping is analyzing the screen and decides hey i can brighten up this but it's not really doing a good job okay so of course i have to admit the whole picture now is brighter and it looks a little bit more like a sunny day yeah, because of very bright day, especially than this here. Very, very nice and bright. But as soon you have yeah, a very bright object, you lose so many details, so many details. And it's not just this, it's through the whole game what I played so far. Compared to dynamic or compared to HGHG, dynamic tone mapping is not doing a very good job. So Again, I would recommend if you like to play this game in HDR10, choose HGHG if you can and change this to 160 and this to 1000 and then you're good to go because this is really, really nice. Very bright objects here and it looks fantastic now. And I have to say actually HDR in this game, look how bright this is. And you still have all the nice details Really nice, you can see here that the stones behind the splashing water, when I'm changing this to dynamic tone mapping on, it's completely gone. It's completely, it's just white here. So there's no, no details in the background anymore. So that's my recommendation for HDR10. And now let's talk about Dolby Vision. Okay, now we're back with Dolby Vision on my LG CX. And what I found is, yeah, in many games, Dolby Vision is showing you a little bit more details over HDR10 and the same counts here. So I found actually that we can increase the HDR brightness, the HDR peak brightness to 1100 without losing more details over HDR10. So the problem is, or let's, no, it's not a problem. So also Dolby Vision tends to be a little bit less bright than HDR10. The same counts here. It's around 20, 30, 40 candle. It depends how you, how you measure this object, of course. And this is most likely, that's the reason why we can increase this. So I found 1100 is 
the sweet spot I would not or let's say that is 1200 the maximum on my LG CX because then you will really start to lose details. I can clearly see that I'm losing details here already but not when I'm increasing this actually to 1100. It is just getting a, a tick brighter maybe 20 25 candela that's it but 1200 I'm already losing many many details. So 1100 in Dolby Vision is just perfect and this is my yeah, second recommend or actually my first recommended mode because if you don't have HGLG but you have Dolby Vision then I would play this game in Dolby Vision and of course if it's possible in 120 hertz in the multiplayer mode the campaign is still locked to 60 fps but it doesn't matter because it looks still fine and again Dolby Vision shows also a lot of details here behind the splashing water it is just so much better than HDR and dynamic tone mapping on. Okay, so another example why in my opinion Dolby Vision is a little bit better than HDR 10. So in this yeah, level we have this nice sky here and what I found is in Dolby Vision 1100 is already a little bit too much. So we will start losing very fine details here already. It's not too bad but 1000 at this very moment would actually be perfect. But now when we switching back to HDR10 1000 is already too much. So I had actually to decrease this to 900 or maybe 800 to get the same details as in Dolby Vision. So in my opinion Dolby Vision is doing a lot better job in this game because it will show you a little bit better or more details and still keep the brightness so without reducing this too much so but nevertheless I would really think 1100 is fine because it is really just very fine details very very fine details so it's not too much and by the way I mean we are not what have I done anyway so <laughs> we are not watching or looking at the sky the whole time we are actually playing the game and those settings what I have so far for Dolby Vision is really really perfect and and yeah if you if you're going to ask me in what mode I would play then to be very honest Dolby Vision 120 FPS of course in the multiplayer mode just because the yeah, campaign again is still just look to 60 FPS but this looks not too bad really because it's also not the newest game we have to consider this and HDR makes really a nice, yeah, nice impression to me. And yeah, I would say that's enough for this video because I don't want to spoil it too much because you should actually play this on your own. Okay, my friends, that's for this video. And if you like to have, let's say, maybe a first impression, first 20 minutes of this game, put it in the comments because I'm happy to play this, but not in a HDR analyze video. Okay, I like, I or I try not to spoiler yeah many things or as less as possible is this correct english no 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 probably not but anyway you get my point i don't want to spoiler too much and here this is again very nice hdr sorry dolby vision which is really really nice i really like the hdr effects in this game i have to say it in sdr the game doesn't look good at all in my opinion you need to play or you should play this game in hdr and if you can't play it in Dolby Vision, okay? So anyway, so that's enough for this video. I say thank you very much for watching me. If you're new to my channel, you know that that drill, just uh, subscribe to my channel. I would much appreciate it. And also put in the comments what you like to see. I can't do million of videos, of course, because I'm struggling with time. But if I can do something, I would, of course, do what you like to see and not what I like to do. Okay, probably not. So we need to find a compromise, okay? You get my point, okay? Put in the comments whatever you uh, think I should do next and I will try to do it. Uh, if it's a HDR analyze or maybe say, let's say a first impression. I have so many new games, by the way. I need to do a couple of first impression videos as well. Okay, anyway, that's enough for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.